Hello everyone. So today we will be working on a very nice problem. It says that sum of the digits of a number is equal to 7. You have a number, you add the digits, positive number. Sum of the digits is 7. And it's less than 10 to the power 8. The number itself is less than 10 to the power 8. So it's from 1 up to 9999999. So both of them are included. This num the digits of that number adds up to 7. We need to find out how many such numbers are there. So this problem came up in the ISIB STATB math entrance. If you are new to this channel, in this particular space, we discuss non-routine mathematics, problems that make you think a little bit more. We have great courses for mathematical Olympiads, ISI CMI entrances, American math competitions, IOQM, and so on. You can check the link in the description for more detail. But let's focus on this problem now. We can learn a lot using this one problem. And let's see how we can solve it. So here is the key concept. The key concept is sometimes known as the, the stars and bars method. And bars method. So some of you already know this method. You can pause the video and try to work it out on your own. Let's suppose the digits are, so there are eight digits. So the digits are x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, x6, x7, x8. Now you may wonder that, okay, isn't it one two nine 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 nine? Isn't yeah? Isn't it that we have to go from one digit numbers up to eight digit numbers? Yes, of course. But you can write a one digit number as a bunch of zeros, so zero 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 zero, and then the one digit. So we will in this way we can consider all of the digits all of the numbers to be eight digit numbers only if the actual significant digits are smaller than eight then the initially we will have a bunch of zeros that's all okay so we suppose this is the number this is the number that has the sum of digits equal to zero so this is x1 plus x2 plus x3 up to x8 is equal to seven you want the sum of the digits to be equal to 7. Okay, that's great. The question is, how many, how many, how many non-negative solutions are there of this equation? Okay, so turns out that there is a standard way of solving this problem. As I mentioned, it is called the stars and bars method. Basically, whatever the number is on the right hand side, you consider that to be stars. And all the plus signs you have, you have seven of them here. All the plus signs that you have these are the bars so the stars and bars method so there are seven stars and seven seven bars here so the number of non negative integer solutions become 7 plus 7 choose 7 or stars plus bars choose bars okay so this is the final answer. So 14 choose 7 is the final answer. But 
we want to know why this method works and what is this method all about so let's 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 talk about that so understanding the method okay so let's use a simpler example suppose x plus y plus z is equals to 5 so how can we find the number of non-negative integer solutions to this equation for example 1 1 3 is one solution of this equation similarly 2 1 2 is another solution to this equation similarly 1 0 4 is another solution to this equation these are all non-negative integer solutions right we want to know how many of them are there so here is how i explain it in the math olympiad program at Chinta. you think of these three variables as three lakes okay so there is the pink lake there is the yellow lake and there is the white lake okay and you can think of this five the number five as five walls all of which are initially white what you're doing is you're taking these five balls and throwing them into the three lakes in whatever way you want so for example you could throw one of them in the pink lake one of them in the yellow lake and three of them in the white lake that's one way to do it so if you take a snapshot of this what do you get well you get pink then a bar then a yellow then another bar and then the three whites this is one of the ways you can throw these five balls into the three lakes one one way and this actually is a solution a non-negative integer solution to this equation it corresponds to one one three one one three right on the other hand if we take any solution let's say i take two one two if i take any solution i can create a way to throw the balls in the lake what would that be well this one will be two pink one yellow oops sorry one yellow and two whites right so two one two so again we have a color code if we take a snapshot it will just be two pink bar one yellow bar three two whites similarly i could codify this one it will be a pink the two bars nothing between them and the four whites so if you do this for sufficiently long amount of time do this experiment you will immediately realize that every time you rearrange these five balls and these two bars you will get a new solution the five balls and the two bars together becomes six things seven things so balls or you can think of them as stars plus bars this is seven so you want to rearrange these seven things so that would have been seven factorial if everything was different but everything is not different the five balls are same and the two bars are same 
in this part i have used rearrangement with repetitions okay so maybe some of you can tell me why this formula works so that that is five choose two or rather seven choose two here sorry so that is seven choose two right okay so this is how we find the number of non-negative integer solutions to this equation what i just did is is, is that i use the same concept to find the number of non-negative integer solutions of this equation and why does it help well it helps because every non-negative integer solution will give you a new number between one to eight digits between one to eight digits whose sum of digits is seven let me give you an example this is let's say i have one zero zero or let me put it here one zero zero one two zero zero uh, three so this is a non-negative integer solution to this to this particular question and the sum of digits is seven right so that's that's it for now if you like this kind of videos please care to subscribe and share and like it means a lot if you comment and let us know your ideas as well that would be really great the best commenter usually gets a small prize from Jeddah. so i i hope you, you will keep on doing great mathematics i will see you in the next one all right take care bye